So my name is uh, Stella Vesiana and uh, I'm really very happy to be at the Mafru Kivlix 2013 festival, uh, especially because uh, the whole focus of my work is on interdisciplinary and transdisciplinary processes and that's what uh, this festival is about. Um, and in order to really work in this um, uh, context you need uh, experiences um, in, in different from different perspectives so I've uh, worked in different roles as an artist as a researcher as a science project manager but also as a writer editor and political uh, advocacy so uh, within all these different roles um, we have uh, developed this research arts platform out of which the workshop has been evolved for this festival so I want to introduce a little bit into this research arts platform, then talk about um, uh, Dan Norton and our collaboration in Rap Labs and afterwards get into what the workshop was about. That is community building <laughs> within uh, the art, science and technology community. So. Um, the research arts platform is about uh, presenting different themes and projects that are sort of visionary for a sustainable uh, society, a, a sustainable acting society, and um, which, um, yeah, asking, um, questioning what kind of research we need in order to um, really change our habits. And um, there are different um, project presented, like uh, uh, how natural um, science concepts as the Anthropocene are questioned um, by uh, social and cultural uh, sciences even before they are established, as the Anthropocene is one of these concepts, or there are pr uh, other projects presented like a science and theater project where uh, people uh, coming from the microbiology stage a theater play together with uh, actors and within the university they already get like uh, an instruction and about the ethical um, and uh, social aspects of um, doing research so this kind of uh, visionary projects are presented there and they have been accumulating into a collection so uh, suddenly there was the question there how this um, uh, collection of new good practices could be presented online uh, in a way that it wouldn't be just cognitive but seductive and more playful. And uh, we developed together with Dan Norton who is a DJ and artist uh, from the northern uh, UK um, audiovisual application that is called Rab Labs and Rab Labs is about uh, following intuitively through forms uh, through images and um, getting randomly quotations of texts of the articles and projects presented in the online platform so you can um, decide if you are really triggered, if you are really seduced by them and you really want to go deeper or if you just want to go on playing and uh, researching further uh, what um, different visions are presented. Out of this um, um, out of visual presentation we uh, have developed the idea that this online should go offline <laughs> and um, we wanted really this, um, yeah, that they, these projects became real. And one of these projects was this revaluing archives project that came out of really making an article about this, uh, about different museum practices. They uh, use their collections in a different way, integrating artists. Um, I cannot go like really into this now, but uh, yeah. So we try to think about how this revaluing article, for instance, could be introduced in a real project. So um, we met in a soft control meeting in Hangar at Barcelona, um, the computer visual Art center, and with them we are developing the, fut the library of the future, <laughs> where uh, we can uh, add through a new software, through new uh, audiovisual applications, the knowledge of uh, the library users as well and the software is also going to be developed um, by the community while it's um, 
mm, yeah, developed. Uh, so um, it's going to be introducing the knowledge of the people who use the library and also evolving it uh, technologically um, together with the community. So uh, this was one way of really getting a project real. And the other one was um, the idea of making workshops where the art science uh, and um, engineering community of a particular local place could be, um, yeah, um, encouraged to um, communicate to a broader community where they're locally living and uh, so we invited for this workshop uh, from Maribor, uh, there were eight participants coming from different research fields, like one was uh, between robotics and medicine, uh, is doing research between these fields, other is in the space center, another one is a photographer. So coming from really different research fields and really extraordinary people working here in um, Maribor, but that they don't have any contact with each other. Um, we tried to <coughs> link them th uh, through their objects, so they were invited to bring uh, an object as a representative of what is their artistic practice or scientific practice. And what we did is uh, link the objects, like create connection. And it was not about talking about the objects, but the connection created between the objects, creating a whole semantic field between all these objects and all these artists and scientific uh, practices in order uh, out of the semantic field to create a, a new project that would link them all over a certain period of time and make it really a sustainable project going beyond a festival. Uh, so the idea they developed is uh, Kulti Novatia. I'm not <laughs> sure if I'm pronouncing it well. The idea is to create a mobile art and uh, science um, school. <coughs> and this uh, would be a mobile unit that would go to different uh, markets, like flea markets, reusing what people are selling there in uh, a workshop they would prepare each Sunday morning, uh, and inviting people to um, learn how um, hacking robotics, like uh, to how to do pinhole cameras, do it yourself learnings with recycling the material that is already there. And uh, the passerbys would, would, passerbys would, would just um, uh, learn different things uh, um, as a, a sort of a pleasurable, uh, entertaining uh, thing. But by that, um, getting uh, maybe attracted uh, in, in to um, go maybe to Kibler or to other institutions in Maribor that are already uh, encouraging uh, working in an interdisciplinary way. So um, yeah, it is uh, uh, the idea to, cr to, to share this knowledge and tools and practices to reuse and recycle through these uh, markets and uh, to uh, make people aware of this um, need also of the artist and scientific community for a new um, uh, university program that is not existing in, in all over in Slovenia. Uh, there's no department for exchanging these interdisciplinary practices and really developing this sort of projects that could create new forms of community uh, in uh, Maribor. So th this is <laughs> a little bit uh, the summary of, of what we've done. And we're really, really, uh, Denord and me, we're, we're really ha so happy about, um, yeah, also now the, um, <coughs> the results of, of the projects, but also maybe the um, future outcomes that are going to be happening just because every Sunday <laughs> there could be this um, exchange of ideas and knowledge also of the community coming back to the art and, and, and science scene in Kiebler. So, um, yeah, we're looking forward how this is going to evolve. Uh, we're going to research, uh, we're going to, um, yeah, present it in a blog and, uh, yeah, we are really uh, looking forward how it's going to be involving. Thank you.